most of us have been on an airplane at least a few times. But it turns out that flight attendants and pilots don't tell us everything. In this video on Mogul TV, I will talk about 17 secrets that airline employees do not tell. Number 1. Many men wear a beard, but it is simply impossible to meet pilots with a beard. The fact is that in most airlines, pilots are simply forbidden to wear a beard. During an emergency, pilots, like other passengers, will need to wear an oxygen mask, but because of the beard, the mask may not fit well to the face. Thus, the life of the pilot and all passengers who are on board will be at risk. Number 2. If you have flown at least once on a plane, then put like. True, now I will tell you a fact that will not please you very much. The fact is that not all malfunctions in the aircraft are eliminated before each flight. Yes, of course, no one will allow the flight of an aircraft with serious malfunctions, but the fact is that the list of things that are checked before the flight is simply gigantic. Therefore, minor malfunctions that do not affect safety can be left for later. Otherwise, the number of flight delays would be huge. Number 3. Many passengers, in order to protect their luggage from theft, hang large locks on their suitcases before the flight. But alas, it is completely pointless to do this, since it will not be difficult to break the zipper of any suitcase if desired. And no matter how big and complex the lock you have, it's just useless. So keep this in mind and take especially valuable things with you on board the aircraft, in hand luggage. Number 4. Even 20 or 30 years ago, passengers could smoke right during the flight, but today it is strictly prohibited. And not because smoke can somehow affect flight safety, create a fire hazard, and so on. The reason lies in the money. The aircraft has a huge number of complex systems that are responsible for air circulation in the cabin, and smoke and soot wear out these systems much faster, which is completely unprofitable for air carriers. By the way, an interesting detail is that in many planes, despite the ban on smoking, there are still ashtrays in the toilets. This is done because some passengers do not stand up and, despite heavy fines, still smoke during the flight and so that they do not put out cigarettes anywhere, and thus do not create a fire, ashtrays are installed in the toilet. Number 5. As you know, there are two people who fly the plane, the captain and the co-pilot. Shortly before the flight they, like all normal people, eat something. But it is interesting that most airlines forbid them to eat the same food. The reason is quite simple and common. If suddenly something goes wrong with the food and the pilot gets poisoned, he won't be able to fly the plane. And then the co-pilot, who ate a different food, would take over this function. Number 6. On most flights, passengers are fed some kind of food. It can be small sandwiches or some more varied menu. One way or another, if you suddenly want more food and politely ask the stewardess about it, then she most likely will not refuse you. The reason is simple, the food that is distributed on board the aircraft has a rather short shelf life, and all excess food is immediately thrown away immediately after the flight. Number 7. Many people know that there are more bacteria on a mobile phone than on a toilet. The same goes for tables for passengers, they are considered one of the dirtiest things in the world in terms of the number of bacteria collected there. This is no coincidence because cosmetic cleaning is often done on board. This is especially true for short flights, when the plane has arrived, and soon it needs to fly away. Employees will not have time to thoroughly clean everything. So keep that in mind and don't put unpackaged food on an airplane table. Number 8. If you thought that by going to the toilet on board on an airplane and closing in there, you protected yourself from outside interference, then you were mistaken. In many aircraft, the door locking mechanism is installed under the no smoking icon at the toilet door. It is enough just to lift the folding sash with the image of a cigarette and turn the valve, and the door will unlock. Moreover, the flight attendant has his own key to the toilet. This is done, of course, for the sake of safety. In case someone becomes ill while in the toilet, and you have to urgently open the door from the outside. Number 9.
Before a flight, all passengers on board are asked to turn off their cell phones or put them into airplane mode. Many people believe that working phones can somehow disable the plane. But it doesn't. In fact, the phone signal can create the noise we sometimes hear in our speakers before someone calls us. These sounds can prevent pilots from hearing the information the dispatcher is giving them. The likelihood of this happening is quite small, but you wouldn't want to be on an airplane where it would happen after all. Number 10. One of the surprises that you can expect after a flight is the loss of luggage. A very unpleasant and nervous situation, because almost all of your things are in your luggage. This happens because in addition to special employees, a huge complex system is responsible for luggage. And, either an employee may accidentally put your suitcase in the wrong cart, or the system has failed, or a number of other reasons. But while still on the ground, you can protect yourself from losing your luggage. For example, remove old stickers and tags from the suitcase that are not related to this flight. Many people like to collect them, but in the end it can just confuse the luggage distribution system. Plus, you can leave a special tag or sticker with your contact details on your suitcase. And even if your suitcase is lost, you will be contacted and the luggage will be with you much faster. Number 11. Many people like a chair near the partitions, as there is more free legroom. This is true, but it also has a downside. Often, passengers with small children are transferred to such seats, and small children, as a rule, behave quite loudly on the plane. Number 12. Life jackets in airplanes are located under the seats, and they are needed during an emergency landing on the water. But as it turns out, there are quite a few people who simply steal these life jackets as a souvenir. Even despite the fact that it is prosecuted by law. So it will be useful before the flight to make sure that you still have a life jacket under the seat. Number 13. In some countries, such as Russia, passengers often applaud pilots after landing, even if the weather conditions were good and the pilots were used to it. But if you are flying with a foreign airline, then you should not immediately start clapping your hands after the flight, as many foreign pilots may take this as a sign of disrespect, because they were just doing their job. Yes, there are incredibly difficult conditions when the pilots show all their skills and deserve applause. But, fortunately, such situations are rare. Number 14. You may have never paid attention to it, but there are special handrails next to the door in the cabin of the aircraft. They are intended primarily for flight attendants in case of a panic on board. When a flight attendant prepares the door for an emergency evacuation of passengers, panicked people can simply inadvertently knock her down, or even push her out of the plane. And in such a situation, she can hold on tightly to the railings. Number 15. If you are the last to board the plane, then this has one big plus, after the full load of passengers, you can immediately see which seats or rows are free. And if you were the last one, then the plane door has already been closed and no one else will enter. You can simply choose any of the free seats if you like them more than yours. Number 16. Be polite. Flight attendants on board the aircraft are real people who like politeness and friendly attitude. So, if you are polite and ask for more food, transplant you to another place, or just something else, then you will most likely not be refused. But if, on the contrary, you are rude or indignant, then your requests are unlikely to be satisfied. Number 17. About 30 million flights are made every year in the world and extreme or tragic cases occur only a few times a year. So an airplane is a much safer means of transportation than trains or buses. Keep this in mind if you are very worried before or during your flight. Do not forget to go to the Mogul TV V contact group, put your fingers up, subscribe to Mogul TV, click on the bell to know about new videos, and, of course, leave your comments under this video.